Ah, oh, what's lit, guys? We got some news. What is going on guys? Alex Hume here coming at you with another YouTube video. Yes, I got the new lens, 30mm 1.4 Sigma lens. I got like the, the f-stop like 2.8 right now, but I can make it like 1.4 so the background will be like super blurry. So when I take my, my new like Instagram pictures or workout videos, it's gonna look super dope. The only thing that sucks is it's gonna bring my bring out my acne a little bit more. So I'm a little self-conscious of that, which sucks. But crisp image, I love it, I can still kind of vlog with it. But uh, yeah, so I just got my flu shot. It means we're gonna have a crazy shoulder pump later, even though I'm training chest and back today. But I wanna go over this video, my training style. A lot of people ask me kind of how I train, and um, it's very unorthodox, I would say. It's different. All right, so uh, if you guys follow me on TikTok, there was some stuff going on. James English posted a video about PRing, how you have to be lifting heavy bench squat deadlift in order to build a physique like kids, build a good physique. Yo, I see way too many beginners going in the gym and just getting a pump, especially beginners, especially natties too. They go in the gym, they just chase a pump, they don't know what they're doing. Guys, you gotta lift heavy, you gotta do your squats, deadlift, bench in order to look like that. Now obviously some gear was used too, but that's besides the point. You gotta lift heavy in order to grow, you can't just chase a pump. Currently, I don't ever do that. I don't really train super heavy, I don't do PRs, I don't do stuff like that. I'm a pump chaser, I've always been big on hypertrophy work volume, time and retention, stuff like that. So what I wanna do is I wanna explain to you guys my whole training style, my training technique, kind of how I train off the instinct rather than planning everything out. Obviously, you don't have to do what I do. Uh, this is what I found what works best for me. You need to find out what works best for you. Again, everyone is different. Everyone responds differently to different training styles. Not one thing is gonna work for everyone, so I always think you should try out different things, see what you like the best. I'm big on, I'm big on the whole pump thing, having a good mind muscle connection and all that. So I'm gonna show you kind of my techniques, my, uh, my training style, and uh, if you want to replicate it, of course you can. Mm. <sighs> ah. Oh, what's lit, guys? We got some news. Golden Aesthetics, my favorite workout like clothing company of all time. I've been wearing them since I was in high school. Artemis Dolgan, great guy, dude. He's the CEO of them, one of my favorite influencers in the game. I have a chance to be on the Golden Aesthetics team. They're very specific when it comes to picking people. And basically they're like acting like I'm already on the team. I think they're sending me some stuff. I gotta prove myself. So if you guys can help support that content, share it, uh, save it. When I post on Instagram, when I'm wearing their clothes, it means the world to me and helps me out so much. Also, we might have some upcoming news with the Swole House with the supplement company here soon. So stay tuned for that. I can't really say too much about it yet, I don't think. But stay tuned. All right, so I just made some eggs. This is my breakfast, see it? Uh, I already had a protein shake before I went to get my whiskey tea taken out. Four eggs, 120 grams egg whites is one that I love to do. It's like my one of my go-to breakfasts and stuff like that. So yeah. This is what it looks like when I vlog with it. It is a more zoomed in one because it's a 30 millimeter, but it still can work. And if I turn like this thing down, how do I do that? Turn it down, 1.4. Look at that. Look at that blurry background right there. Oh, oh. All right, so I apologize for you having to listen to me being uh, excited about my camera, but so let's get into it. So basically, my style of training, it's very unorthodox. First off, I've never really been in to PRs, progressive overload on that nature, like, oh, I'm gonna bench more on, on you know, bench more every week, squat more every week, never been, been big on that. I'm really big on time under tension. You can see here in this clip right here, I'm really controlling the weight, holding it on the contraction at the bottom, this is the way that I lift for every single type of lift that I do. I switch up the tempos. You don't know what a tempo is. It's like different seconds you use for the contraction, the positive portion of a rep, the negative portion of a rep. Instead of me just throwing heavy weight around like some people do, I want to control and activate every single muscle fiber in whatever in whatever movement that I'm doing. So uh, methods that I like to do that. My first method I'm going to talk about is the pre-exhaustion technique. This is so big because so much people struggle with getting a good mind-muscle connection in any lift that they do. Let's say, for example, here I'm training back. I will do straight arm pull downs before I go into anything else in this workout because that, those straight arm pull downs are gonna really isolate my lats. It's gonna allow me to get a pump in my back. I'll do, for example, two to three sets of straight arm pull downs from 15 to 20 reps. They're always high rep sets, and I'm really kind of focusing on the movement. This is just to push blood into the muscle that I'm working, and it's not gonna really fatigue it because I'm lifting pretty light. Once I go into the next of the actual workout, I'm gonna be able to already feel my lats working in pull downs, in, in, uh, in cable rows and anything because they already have blood in them. They're already kind of tight, so therefore it's just gonna help 
really have me have that mind muscle connection. I'll be able to more focus on utilizing my lats rather than, for example, going right into pull downs, going right into rows, and I'm feeling it more in my biceps, my forearms, for example. So uh, same thing with chest. A lot of people, when they go to benching, they feel it in their front delts and they're not really using their chest, their chest fibers. I recommend doing cable flies for two to three sets, high repetitions, get a pump in your chest before you go to any type of bench press. Therefore, when you go into that bench, your chest is going to fatigue before your shoulders will. You'll already have a pump, so you're feeling your chest contract and it's just, it's just better off. Because if, if you can, you can lift as much weight as you want, but if you are not actively feeling those fibers that you were trying to hit working, you're not going to gain uh, muscle. So like I'm saying, you can bench like 405, but if you're not actively feeling your chest activating in any benching movement, you are not going to grow a big chest. Here I'm using light ass dumbbells, man. I'm just working on time under tension, a little half rep and a full rep. Um, so yeah, that's what pre-exhaustion is. Another thing that I'm really big on is I am very, I'm an instinct lifter. I don't plan anything out, dude. When I go to the gym, I have kind of a routine, an idea that I want to do or lifts that I respond really well to. I go to the gym, I pick random machines that I like and I go off of that. Maybe if I'm at one machine, I'm really feeling a good pump with it, a good mind muscle connection. Maybe I'll do seven sets on that machine instead of doing what I was going to do, maybe three or four. If I go to a machine and I'm not feeling a muscle group activated at all, I'll leave it. If I, I'll do like one or two sets, I'm like, ah, nah, I'm not really feeling this in my chest. I'm feeling this in my shoulders. So I'll leave the machine, go find a different one. This is what I mean by training off of your instinct. I don't like being confined to just a specific program all the time because sometimes I think the best way is to kind of listen to your body and to respond off of it. I, uh, we all are different. So what works for me might not work for you. What works for someone like James English might not work for me, <laughs> right? So I don't think there's one said thing that's gonna work for everyone. Obviously there's science that shows like what things, you know, have been shown to kind of work consistently but um but yeah so this is how i've always trained i'm an instinct lifter i don't even really count my reps for example i go to the gym and i will start pumping out the weights people are like how many reps and sets do you do for this like i really don't know i'll just go there for a certain amount of time um i'd say on average maybe four to five sets or, or repetitions eight to twelve but like i really don't count it all the time and I just have fun with it. Don't overcomplicate when you go to the gym. You want to have fun with it. Bodybuilding is supposed to be fun, dude. It's supposed to be a stress reliever. You don't want to be confined to just being stressed out about, oh, I need to hit this certain number today. If I don't PR today, I'm going to be upset. Like, I don't like that. I like to have fun with it. I like to get a really good pump, get mad vascular. That's the way that I've always liked to train. And I'm going to, I'm going to continue to do it that way. Like some guy was trying to tell me that I'm going to hit a plateau because I don't train heavy. That is some BS, bro. The thing is, your muscle fibers do not know what weight is. They kind of know what tension is. If you are pushing a muscle to failure, or if you were, are you were, if you were challenging challenging yourself in the gym, you're pushing your muscles to failure. They are going to grow, regardless of what like exact weight you're using. Obviously, you shouldn't be using like some five pound dumbbells on curls because it needs to be a uh, starting tension. But I use moderate to heavier kind of weights, and um, I go anywhere from like 15 to even 20 rep sets. Sometimes the big thing is. Your muscle does not know exactly the weight, but it knows tension. If you are pushing yourself to your limits, you are going to grow. That's how it works. Also, there's other different techniques when it comes to building muscle. There's mechanical tension, metabolic stress, and muscle damage. Mechanical tension involves the heavier PR lifts, recruiting all the maximum muscle fibers that you can lift. Metabolic stress, however, happens to do with cellular swelling, meaning this is more of a pump. You're going to high 15, 20 rep sets. You're really pumping out the muscle. You're really filling it with blood. It's going to cause cellular swelling. It's been shown also as a form of hypertrophy to build muscle. Same thing with muscle damage. The difference with muscle damage, muscle damage is more focusing on time under tension, like eccentrics, holding the contraction, which I like to mix up. You can't, you, you can, there's other techniques you can do to have hypertrophy. You don't just have to lift heavy is what I'm trying to tell you. Like I will mix up sets when I go to a, let's say I'm, I want to do like four or five sets of a wide grip pull down. Maybe the first set, I'll just pump out 12 to 15 normal, normal pace reps. The second set, maybe I'll hold the contraction for two seconds at the bottom. Maybe I'll do eight reps instead because I'm holding it. Maybe the third set, I'll do a three second negative. I love changing it up. I love keeping my body guessing and I love having fun with it. Don't just feel like you need to plan everything out. That's how I train and that's what I've seen the best results with. Now, when it comes to like a training split, uh, I used to be big on the bro split, hitting only each muscle group once per week. I definitely recommend hitting it twice per week though. Currently, I'm doing a I do push pull leg, then I do chest and back together, then I do shoulders and arms together, then I do legs. So push pull leg splits are great. That split I just mentioned is my favorite right now because it, it I don't get bored of it. You can kind of get bored of a push pull leg split really quick. So that's why I like the one that I'm doing now. It's like a different day every day of the week. Another topic I'm going to touch on is when it comes to volume and when it comes to intensity. So uh, I used to be really big on volume. I know a lot of beginning lifters when they're doing a bro split, they'll do like 25 sets for one, like for chest on a chest day. They'll just do chest one day. They'll hit like 25 sets for it. 
I don't recommend doing that. I don't think that that is as beneficial because it's been shown in some studies that once you get to a certain point of volume, it can actually become catabolic, meaning you're breaking down your muscle and it's not gonna help you build muscle. Your muscles only need, I'd say around the sweet spot for me, is around 15 sets for a muscle group in a workout. I would not really pass 15 sets of working sets for chest or back, for example. And that's on the higher end. Sometimes I'll only do 12. Another tip is make sure the last set you do for any exercise is the hardest set. Look into drop sets. You need to be doing in different intensity techniques. Intensity techniques are things that are gonna like really push you to your limits. So things like this are gonna be drop sets where you basically go to failure with one weight, drop the weight 30%, go to failure again, drop the weight, go to failure again, all without any resting on that last set. Also look into partial reps, meaning you go to failure doing clean form, then you can just do half-ass, do some little half reps. Anything that gets you past failure as much as you can, these last, the last set should always be the most intense set. I'm not saying you need to go to failure on each and every set. I actually, I actually don't recommend that because that also can become catabolic to your muscle tissue. But yeah, that's it for today's video. That's kind of how I train. I was getting a lot of stuff or a lot of hate, I guess, on how like what my training style is because it is unorthodox, but it's what I've developed over the past four years of lifting and it's worked very well for me. So you can try it out, see if it works well for you. Thank you guys for all the love and support lately. It's been insane. Make sure you keep supporting your boy, man. We have some big things coming up in the future. I really appreciate you guys. Please turn that bell notification on so you never stay late when I upload a video. I'll always be there first, man. Appreciate you guys so much. Got this new camera. Gonna be pumping out some crazy content here soon. But thank you guys for all the love and support. I'll see you guys later.